Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a demonstration of these new Sally Hansen nail effects. Um, kind of like nail stickers. They're marketed as real nail polish strips. You can see that. I decided to pick up a pack and they were $8.50 at Walmart. They're supposed to come out in March, but I found them so I want to try them out. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the demonstration. So inside the box you get two of these packs of the nail polish strips. You also get a file and a little manicure stick. Also comes with directions like this. And we're going to follow the directions exactly. Um, just so we can have kind of the best results that we can. So you have to push back your cuticles and shape your nail with the file. And then use the gray surface of the stick to kind of smooth out the nail to smooth out the nail and then you clean it one last time with a swipe of nail polish remover so I'm going to do that to my nails and I'll come back and we'll start applying the polish strips you get 16 with your kit so in case you mess up you can always you know use another one so I'm going to start with my pointer finger since it's pretty big. You can probably see it better than my pinky. As you can see it looks like this. There's a little peel off tab and um, you start by peeling off the little clear part like that. This little clear dude. And then it says to remove the tab. But I don't really want to do that. Well, let me see. I'm just going to peel it off of here. See it peels right off. Peel. And then you're going to line it up with your fingernail. But you want to line that up fairly well with your fingernail. I'm going to actually flatten it with the manicure stick make sure it bonds to the nail. You can use the flat side. You can use your finger to kind of press it down into it. And you're done. Just kidding. Uh, you're going to take either you know a file or a scissors or whatever and cut off you know the excess. I'm just using cuticle scissors. And now that you have it kind of trimmed down, you can just sort of press it even more. And then you start to file the edges. And I like to file downwards. Also, when you're measuring these to your fingernail, you could use either this side of the strip or this side. And just use which one works best for your nail. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put on a top coat. This isn't necessary. It doesn't say to do so in the instructions. But I want to give this a fighting chance because I did pay $8.50 for it. So I'm just using Sesh Vite and I'm applying it all over the strip. And I'm also going to apply it to the edge of the nail. Just because that will be where it will peel. Now to remove these you just use nail polish remover and they're supposed to last 10 days. I don't know if I mentioned that. So we're going to see. I'm actually going to take pictures for the next however many days this lasts. Then I'll post that on my blog. So if you want to see that, I'll put that down in the bottom bar as well. You can see the the uh, progression of destruction <laughs> of the nails. Alright guys, that's it. Let the top coat dry. Um, definitely check out my blog for the progression of these to see how long they last and whether or not they chip off or the edges kind of peel. Otherwise, I think for a first impression, first time using this product, it was super easy. And uh, I love the design. I love the hound's tooth. They have tons of different designs as well. They have a lace one that I really want to try as well. Um, yeah, so if you see these out and about, check them out. They're kind of fun and different and new in the nail world. Otherwise, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.